All right, so this is um, Christmas etiquette, part one. These are some things I want I want you all to to note very carefully when the Christmas season starts. Right. So, number one thing, we're gonna go in the aspect of just visiting here. We ain't gonna talk about Christmas, you know. Otherwise, all right. Number one, I probably did some of this before, but I want to re just want to emphasize it again, right? Number one, very rarely are you allowed, I believe, to pass before the 25th of December. You can't come by nobody's house on the 20th. People are still organizing their, their, their house. They come to sit on the sponge and, 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 and all the blankets and things on the corner. What are you doing there? We don't have time to entertain you now. What are you doing there? Get away. Oh gosh, how you reached there already? I'm passing through. Hello? Outside? You didn't even call before you're outside. No way to sit on one sponge. Ah, oh, shucks, man. People, you know, train audience late. All 25th, they're still organizing the house. You, you wasn't come to early 20th. Our next thing. Now, everybody knows that during Christmas time, you buy a bottle of China, you buy a bottle of speech. When you take your china, don't hold the bottle. Put it back down. Because suddenly you just munching on china. You think everybody, all the china, nobody else has china. Or not. That's greedy. That's greedy. Put it down. Put it down. And next thing. Alright. Christmas time come. Food sharing. Food tasting nice. People just parang all the time. Right? You can't ask for seconds, boy. You can't ask for seconds. Unless it's your last, your last set, you can't for seconds. Are you, a, are you a lion? You get food. Oh gosh. You know other people come in. What are you seconds for? Um, excuse. Uh, let me get some water rice now. What? Get away. Get away. What is that? You in the kitchen already. You're, 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 you're handing the pot. A bit. Our next thing. No, we love children. We all love children. But you can't bring a child in people's house. Right? Running up and down the, the place. They, they, they now buy the new vase. Right? They now buy a vase from Traders Club. And you run and, and, and the, the child touching the vase and the vase want to fall down and break. You can't control your child? No. Me and care how big a child. Put your child in a pram and, and put him in a seat, seat belt. What is that? They don't know how to behave when they come my people? It's not cute, you know? It's not cute. Jumping on people and jumping on the on, 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 on the curtain and pulling on curtain and saying sorry? Sorry? No. We can't condone that. Control your child. Please. And next thing. Wear a good socks and cream your feet. Why? People have different cultures, boy. Some people require that you take, you take off your shoes outside and go inside the house, right? Because they have carpet and things, right? You can't go inside people's house with a, with a hole in your, in your socks and a big toe outside. Not cute. Sometimes you might be in slippers. Take off your slippers, you can't go to ashy feet. And, 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 and hold your, your, your one foot over that foot because you want to block it. You want to use the shame. You can keep your feet? What's that? Keep your feet. And buy a good socks. 3 for 20 on High Street. Shocks, man. Right? The last thing I want to talk about. You see, buying guests, boy? I take that very seriously. I like to take note of what people say and do during the year. And buy them something with sentimental value. Right? High on sentiment. That it, hey, you remember this boy, Kivan, boy? Now, always, if it is you can't shop for somebody, get advice. Right? If you're not getting advice, and you want to give somebody something, but take them the money. Don't go and buy something that you know the person may not be able to use. Right? You see a nice shirt, you even ask for the size, nothing. You buy a big shirt, right? Extra large, right? And the boy is small, right? Now, the thought is that comes. But at least spend some time in, in, in find out what, what the child would want or what the boy would want or what the girlfriend would want. Don't just buy so. Get some advice. Go with a female. Go with a male. To understand what the boy want. Take some mental notes. You just buy him gifts so. He go like this. She go like that. Ah, oh, shocks, man. I don't understand that, you know. I just don't understand that. 